I'm not going to be very original here. The, uh, the key element to an investable project is generally the team. When we're talking about science, obviously the weight of you know, the technological viability and the market opportunity is, uh, is extremely important. But there is no such thing as success without a good team. So I think that having a look at the team usually gives you a very, very good indication of whether the rest of the things, the identification of the opportunity, quality of the tech, etc., is also going to be good. So I'd say that's the first thing, the team. The main mistake that people make when uh, fundraising is knocking on the wrong door. So I think that uh, it is relatively easy, uh, well, sorry about using the word easy, to get funding if you're getting it from the right partner, from the right investor. So on the path from idea to market, you're going to have to fundraise from friends and family, you're going to have to fundraise from business angels, from public funds, from VCs, etc etc and if you choose the right partner and offer him an opportunity that suits their particular needs as an investor you're going to have uh, you know maybe even a good time fundraising since since i can't be here talking for an hour i'd say the three mistakes would be first wrong investor trying to get money from VCs when they need to get it from friends and family um, and vice versa so first um, trying to get the wrong investor second um, missing the point that getting investment mis means sharing the project so offering your investors a fair share of the prize is also essential don't try to keep the project to yourself and I would say that at some point of the process, the needs of a startup change. The, a startup becomes a company and an entrepreneur needs to recognize when he has a different type of company and then maybe needs to redefine his own role as a founder in this new company that he has created through growth. So I would say maybe those are the three key things. I personally believe and I think that the technologies that are going to be the winners for healthcare system in the future should be those that facilitate or decrease the work of healthcare practitioners. Why I'm saying that? Because uh, the World Health Organization already are mentioning that by the year 2035 there would be a shortage of 12 or more 13 million of doctors and nurses. So I'm not meaning that technologies should replace doctors and nurses. I'm meaning that should help the work of them. So any technology that can facilitate or decrease the pressure in the healthcare system will be a winner. And that uh, will lead to make citizens more powerful. So these technologies should empower citizenship. These technologies should make citizens to keep their health, to help them to keep their health, or to manage their healthcare problems, their mild health problems. So I think that these are big requirements of innovative, futuristic health technologies. Additionally, I truly believe that these technologies should prove that they facilitate the work, but also should prove that they are effective, that they are really complaining or complying with what they aim to be. Well, uh, challenges the system has nowadays, the main challenges from my point of view is that healthcare systems mostly are still performing as healthcare system from the 19th, 20th century. And we are in the 21st century. What I mean by that? I mean that the way healthcare is organized and specifically paid for, follow the rules and follow the schemes of all technologies. I think that the innovative technologies are going to face a big challenge 
in the type or in the way healthcare systems are financing. There is no innovative ways of finance innovation and we should strive for this. Otherwise, these innovatives will face this wall, this barrier to enter into the market. Especially, for example, for digital health technologies. There are not a specific payment systems that, and that should be designed and promoted here because somehow are one of the technologies or one of the innovations that are going to be leading the future of healthcare.